Hey everybody, it's Phil here and you're watching STV Sydney Trains Vlogs. I am in Melbourne and this video is going to be about Melbourne's City Circle Tram. The City Circle Trams are made up of the W8 class fleet and in this video we'll be uh, seeing travel on the units 981 and 1010. Uh, we had to change from 981 to 1010 uh, due to a leak, uh, but that's cool. Um, there's definitely enough footage of the travel on these trams and also a couple of arrival and departure uh, bits of footage. So sit back, thank you for watching, uh, enjoy the video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Sydney Trains Vlogs.
at stop 9 in Victoria Street in La Trobe Street. And enjoy a romantic punt on the ornamental lake at the lush Royal Botanic Gardens. A short walk from any tram on St Kilda Road to stop 19 Shrine of Remembrance. For more information about what's on this summer, pick up the Melbourne Visitor's Guide. Available on the August tram or in the Visitor's Guide Melbourne Town Hall or the Mercury Hall. No, it's not 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 the Mercury Hall. Yes. 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 Yes.
admiring the many boats berthed at Waterfront City Marina, or continue a gastronomic journey at the many restaurants and bars. Step off here for the District Shopping Centre, Costco, Wonderland Fun Park, and Dockland Studio Melbourne. Walk through the district to the Melbourne Star Observation Wheel. Towering 120 metres high over the Docklands, the Melbourne Star is the only giant observation wheel in the Southern Hemisphere, and one of only four in the world, joining the London Eye, Singapore Flyer, and Las Vegas High Roller. Whether you're a visitor looking to discover our great city, or a Melbourneian born and bred, a trip on the Melbourne Star will show you a side of the city you'll see nowhere else. As you glide serenely through the Melbourne sky, audio commentary will give you insights into the city's sights, history, and culture. Take in the breathtaking 360-degree views of up to 40 kilometres, encompassing the Docklands Precinct, Melbourne CBD, Point River Bay, and as far as Mount Macedon, Arthur's Seat, and the Dandenong Ranges.